there any questions before we get started? Ah, uh, rock and roll, man. Just you guys both seen the movie? Yeah, yeah, we loved it. Yeah, it's professional, man. It was proper. Awesome. It was proper. 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 Yeah, <laughs> All right, so I'll just kick it off. Welcome back to episode thirty-eight of the Warfare Podcast. Today we got Andy and Brother D from Broadway Entertainment, the first New Zealand hip hop label. Correct. That brought international stardom to a bunch of Polynesians. So they keep telling us. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've just seen the movie. I loved it. Awesome. Uh, yeah, thanks. I've just seen the movie as well. Um, we got a sneak peek and uh, it was really good. It was very entertaining. I appreciate that. And uh, <laughs> I appreciate you guys um, coming on our podcast. It's a big deal for us. I really appreciate it. Awesome, man. Thanks for having us, dude. We should, uh, we should get a lot of views. You know, life's all about views. That's all that matters. Right. That's what they tell us. <laughs> We're trying to get number one box office in Australia, so help us out. So it's just it just got released in New Zealand last week. Is that right? Yeah. So we're doing some pre. It hasn't come out yet. It comes out January twenty one. But we've just done some um, pre Q and A screens. All sellouts, seven in a row. So that's yeah. they weren't sellouts, you know. Just as we got close, and then as soon as we actually hit the road, they just sold out like that. Bah, bah, bah. That's fantastic. I got a bit of a following on uh, Facebook, uh, Lucky Lance. That's my page, and I'll I'll promote the hell out of your video for you. I'll tell everyone to go and watch it. We have a lucky Lance in New Zealand. He's also a strapping uh, young man like yourself. So, you know, you've got a, you've got a second lucky Lance in New Zealand. Uh, he'll have to change his name. I've got copyright on that. That's me. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. I'm coming to New Zealand then. I'll have a chat with him. <laughs> so how, was the, how was the pre-screenings? It was great. Uh, you know, we, uh, you know we, we've been on the road for 20 plus years. So uh, going to these areas is... Uh, it's like second home for us. Yeah, yeah, lots of people, yeah, yeah, lots of people who've uh, who've helped us uh, over the years and come out and you know they're very proud of uh, of, of the movie and so you know now now we all got kids and you know trying to educate their kids about Dawn Raid and you know the significance I guess of of of, of the movie and what and what we've done and so yeah now it's been it's been really awesome for us. So, so you're reaching an audience like I mean because it was. The heyday was pretty much almost 20 years ago. Yep. Right. So it's re reaching a lot of new people that weren't familiar with the story? Yeah, I think, you know, um, one thing we really always tried to do is represent our neighbourhood, but we tried to do it on an international scale. You know, we always wanted to aim for outside of New Zealand shores. We had heaps of early success in Australia with Savage and Swing and Moonshine with Bacon, um, and then followed by um, Scribe. We were part of all that movement. Uh, but we always had our, our sights set on America and shown the, you know, hip-hop community in America that we had just as good a talent down here. And um, I think, you, you know, that influence you see now in the drill rap and uh, seeing the guys, the 1-4 and HP boys and all that, it's, it's awesome for us, you know. We're, we're also big friends with, like, the Hilltops Hood guys and all the original Australian rap, like a Beast Records and all those guys. Like, we're, we're all homies, like, you know, Hip hop's a small community, and yeah. uh, you know it's awesome to reintroduce the story, the struggles, and all that to this new generation. How did it come about, uh, the doco? That's a good question. In New Zealand, um, Oscar Kitely um, is a is a, a big actor, um, writer. He made Sione's wedding, didn't he? Yeah, Sione's yeah. Bro Town, the cartoon Bro Town. Do you oh wow, that? he did that. Yeah, 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 he did Bro Town, so oh, that wow. was a massive cartoon uh, in New Zealand and around the world. Um, and he spoke to Brother D about it. D? Yeah, um, a, a film company by the name of GFC Films, uh, a, a man by the name of Matthew Metcalf spoke with Oscar and Oscar to us. And, you know, we, we needed someone we could trust to tell our story, and um, Oscar's been a friend for, for many years, so... Um, he was the right man for the job. So Did they come to you with the idea? Did they approach yeah. you? Yeah. yeah. And, and, and over, over the years, Andy's always had his camera on, you know? And so we, we always said we were going to make a movie called South Side Story. But, uh, we spoke it into existence. <laughs> I read the book, The Secret. I just read the first three pages and just spoke it into existence. <laughs> so it looks like well, you, you're definitely more of a doer than a studier. Yeah, 100%. We dropped out of business school. We thought we'd learn enough, and we, we probably should have stayed. <laughs> but, um, 
Yeah, yeah we just got to it, hit the ground running. But also with Oscar, you know, the movie was backed by Universal Pictures. And I, and we were always, um, we had a distribution arrangement with Universal Records. So when an international company like that believes in a film, um, you have to you have to jump on board. You know, they wouldn't believe in it unless there was, you know, a, something they could see, a good story to tell. You know, I don't think it's just a hip hop story. I think it's a story of, um, you know, dreamers, of entrepreneurs, of overcoming, you know, it's a Rocky Balboa story. It's also a brotherhood story, like two crazy mates that kind of like take on the world, fall on their face a couple of times, three or four times, <laughs> 10 times, you know? Cautionary tale, a, a uh, educational story, is it? Yeah, you know, I definitely think um, it's, a, it's a film you want to see with your family and friends. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's an inspirational story. It's a story that um, can be adapted to the sports field, to anything. If you want to be a builder, it's the same thing. You know, you're going to have to do your three years, become an apprentice. It's like there's no instant gratification or instant success. There's always a journey. Oh, come on. And the cheap seat. Turn your phone off. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even hire good help around here. <laughs> so, well, yeah, I loved it. It was such an inspirational story. What, what was it like working on it? It was, yeah, um, it was very, um, it was a little bit hard because, you know, um, like I said, you have to trust people. You know? um, it's, it's a mess of history. It's our families, you know. Um, going out there and, 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 and doing this movie. Uh, and so Oscar Kiteley becomes like a very, very big part of um, telling that story. And um, trusting Oscar and, and his skills of, um, of piecing a story together, that's, um, yeah, I think that's one of the big things for me. Uh, it was awesome. It's been about a couple of years since we started making it, you know, and now we're coming to the back end of it. Um, uh, one week away from release, uh, we we're very, very honoured and very humbled, you know, about, and very excited about it. Yeah, it's a huge compliment, it's a really big compliment, you know. Uh, you must have been wrapped when they approached you with the idea, you must have been stoked. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, um, I guess, you know, in the world we live in today, you know, movies is one of the biggest ways to communicate to a mass audience, you know, kind of like the pinnacle of success or whatever you want to say. I think for me and D, it's... Um, Letting the story be seen and, and shared, you know, um, especially in the music genre, like um, we're a small, you know, part of the world, but we um, we punch above our weight, you know. And it's a massive. It's a massive part of New Zealand history. Huge part, and it's it's great to be recognised, but also, you know, to recognise that people went before us too. You know, OMC How Bizarre. I don't know if you guys remember that big record. Yeah, yeah. We were part of that family. We were part of the Fui Manas. Um, there were other great people like Adi Ja, Prince Tui Teka before us. You know, just like you guys have your cold chisels and ACDC, you know. <laughs> By the way, one of them lives in New Zealand now and he's cool as hell too. But um, we know our foundation and hopefully... Jimmy Barnes. Jimmy Barnes. We taught him Jimmy Barnes. He was the Jimmy, dude. Jimmy Barnes is the man. Jimmy you know, Barnes taught us. He's cool as fuck. We, I remember we were somewhere in Australia and we were by a fireplace and Jimmy Barnes walked like literally, by, <laughs> like we were at a Warner Music <laughs> Records conference. It was us, she had Jimmy Barnes, Jimmy Barnes' wife. She's cool as. Like, we, we had so much fun in Australia. We got our first gold record. Uh, what year in Australia? It's a big deal. It's 45,000 records, you know. So for us to get that gold record in Australia was huge. Yeah. What song was that for? Was it for an uh, album? Wing or yeah. Moonshine with yeah. Akon for Savage. Yeah. You know? Um, and we, man, we had an office in Sydney down on the rocks, you know? Like... <laughs> You know, that story in the movie is true. You know, come and see the film to get all the details. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you guys look like you had a lot of fun. Man, we, we spent a lot of Australian dollars, that's for sure. Probably too many, the yeah. tax man said. Uh, what did you spend it on? Uh, what did you spend it on? <laughs> <laughs> some uh, of the luxuries of Australia. <laughs> oh, you guys have got some luxuries over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we won't go into all of that. That's yeah. for part two. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't a massage parlor, was it? <laughs> What's a massage parlor? Yeah. <laughs> Don't lie, you know what it is. <laughs> yeah, you know, you get your back rubs. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, oh, I wouldn't know. <laughs> so, once you're working on it for a couple of years, how did you feel when you actually sat down and watched it, the finished product? Yeah. 
it, it's also because you know, like I, I, I keep, um, I keep big up big, uh, Oscar Kitely, but I think you know, I don't know how your your guys' view on on how the whole thing was put together. I think Oscar did one hell of a job. He went yeah. Yeah, very well. And, um, yeah, that to me was probably a, a very proud moment for myself. That see. took a long time. Two years, that's a long time. You know, in Australia, the movie The Castle, they made that in like two days. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen The Castle, but I'm sure it's quality. You haven't uh, seen The Castle? I can guarantee you our castle wasn't built in two days. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's deep. <laughs> hey, I tell you, my favourite Australian movie, though, is... Um, well, um, I mean, you got to watch The Castle. That's an Aussie icon, that movie. It's an Aussie icon, and they made it in two days. It's amazing. You've got to watch it. Oh, okay. What's the one thing I got my baby? Crocodile Dundee, but Bra Boys. That Bra Boys movie, that was sick. I yeah. love Bra Boys. You guys seen that? I've seen it when it first came out. I want to watch it again, actually. Someone was talking to me about it on the weekend. It's, very it's good funny film. you mentioned it. I Australian film about those two skateboard brothers that were crazy ass and they like kicked major ass and like Tony Hawk shit. Anyway, off the subject of great films, Dawn Raid, go see it. It's amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. No you Man, the new whole Australian drill scene, all the poly kids going hard. We love it. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. It took them 20 years to kind of catch up to, I mean, what you guys were doing 20 years ago. Yeah. And yeah. No, what it, what it needed was uh, for those kids who were actually born here, Polynesia, born in Australia to grow up. Yeah. yeah. That's what some age behind yeah. them, mate. Yeah. Because all the ones that were of age that came from New Zealand and migrated over uh, for like rugby league and all that, they were... They, they were still into Dawn Raid. They were still into Scribe. That's still Kiwis, you know. You know it's the yeah. Australian but it's the kids that are, they were born here, uh, in Australia and uh, grew up in, you know, in those neighbourhoods, Mountie and Dandenong and all those sort of neighbourhoods. They're the ones that, that, that really have this passion and fire for, uh, for this drill scene. For, yeah, are, telling their own story. Absolutely. absolutely. You know, I love, I love them all. I really do because um, first and foremost, the Polynesian kids, and uh, you know, we uh, we're very pro us because we're only like a very small minority. Yeah. So we have to support each other. We've had a lot on the podcast as well. Of, uh... Awesome. Yeah. yeah. This is a really good timing for your movie because uh, the poly rap scene is going really well at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, incredible. We just had HP Boys here. You know. Yeah. Doing bay dreams and like their biggest show, yeah, was like their, the yeah, biggest show of the their, whole. Their, their set was probably the biggest show of the whole of the whole festival. Yeah. Okay. And so, um, this, uh, I think the movie might inspire some of the rappers we have now to take it to the next level, like you guys did. Take yeah. it serious. Yeah, and do and do the business side of things. I mean, you know, there's some there's some amazing models there in Australia of hilltop yeah. hoods and all that. But again, you know, it's a this is a reflection of themselves. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, it's pretty inspiring, especially to see the American rappers like ASAP Ferg and them featuring the Australian rappers on their US releases and the UK guys, the grime guys featuring the Australians. It's like, that's the biggest endorsement you can get. Yeah. When, you, when you sell their own product back to them. <laughs> yeah. You guys paved the way having, I mean, like having uh, Akon on a Savage track. and yeah, well, We did so many more, man. I, as part of this, I said I want to release the songs we didn't put out. We had songs with, you know, Dog Pound. You know, we had songs with Common. We had songs with uh, Little John. You know, so many songs. But for whatever reason, uh, we couldn't pay the right clearance fee or we couldn't get the legal thing done. You know, they didn't come out, but they exist in the vault. I feel yeah. like we're doing a bootleg, you know, going to the archive. <laughs> Just post them up. Just post them up on YouTube illegally. I'm with you. I'm with you. We <laughs> might put them up on your guys' platform, you know? Hey, you're more than welcome. <laughs> you can take the lawsuits as well. <laughs> uh, we've got the legal, legal side yeah. of the order, don't worry. His wife's a lawyer, so uh, <laughs> comes in handy. <laughs> Gentlemen, we've got to wrap it up. you got one last question for us. We appreciate you. Thank yeah, you for thank having you. us. Uh, yeah, what do, you, what do you got to say to all the kids making music these days? Like some advice. Uh, for all the children making music, stick at it. Have a long-term view. It's not an overnight thing. You have to consistently stick to it, just like a, a rugby league career or training for a degree and anything you do, you know, stick to it. Keep releasing music. Try and own it yourself. Be original. Speak your own truth. Pay your taxes. <laughs> <laughs> Pay your taxes. I'll have to agree with that one. Yeah. Uh, 
other th- I just wanted to say thank you very much. It's a big deal for us to have you on our podcast. So it really helps us. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Lucky Lance and Mama, we appreciate you guys. Oh, yes. Thank Thanks. you. Andy, Brother all, D, thank you. All our brothers and sisters out there, yeah. Australia, doing music, doing whatever, you know, it's, um, keep at it, you know, and thank you for, for you guys for uh, having this platform for us to be on. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Later, my guys. See ya.